Sai na live, né? Será? Sei. Cara, eu tô com esse aqui, não sei se não vai. Tá, não era bem pra fazer. told us they had an entire goddamn army. I don't think anybody knew. Crazy shit. Yeah. It's all crazy, pal. Non-stop insanity. Thought I left all this shit behind. Easy gig, you said. Fucking unbelievable. Jesus. I heard that. Oh, give me a second. I'm not feeling so good. Bom dia. Ela se está aí? O que que a senhora acha? Claro que sim. E o senhor bem pontual, não? Tudo bem. Ah. You fucking pair of clowns. I'm sorry, sir. We risked our lives several times over trying to save. I, I, I know. I just wish I knew what was happening and why. Yes. Who has it in for our family? I mean, just because we are rich and happy. Is that a good reason to hate us? I do a lot of good in this town. A lot. This is hell for me. As I told you yesterday, when I get Fabiana back, I think I will move us to Miami or Geneva. It feels like nothing good can come from living in... right now i hope you're not giving up on our city senor branco listen we will catch the man you have my word on that listen to mr becker brother yes these are tough times but we have been through it before like when father died father had a heart attack visiting a brothel yeah it was humiliating embarrassing for sure but now this is different this is the end for well she's not dead maybe we'll be lucky and get her back safe soon I can almost guarantee it, if you do as I ask. Maybe. Be strong, brother. For your wife. I know this has been tough on you, but things will get better. For all of us. Hmm? Marcelo, pasos in my helicopter. This way. Sure. Mr. Becker? Senor? Let us give you a ride. Bom. Até logo, Sr. Branco. And may I say, you would be best served se contratar profissionais e não esses amadores pés de chinelo. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Até logo, Sr. Branco. I had so many plans, Max. Didn't we all? I was born into great fortune. Sometimes it feels like I have done nothing apart from being a rich man in a poor country. The men I talk to, they only see money, not my wife. I am not naive. She does not love me for my body. 
Well, despite your good fortune, you're still a decent man. <laughs> Am I? I don't know. I try to be. But maybe I'm just another rich fool, just like the rest of my friends. Com licença, tenho uma ligação para o senhor, um policial chamado Senhor da Silva. Ah, diga que eu ligo mais tarde. Sim. Another bent cop wanting a pension contribution. Do you think a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded by flies? <laughs> Look at me. I'm a mess. O que está acontecendo? Meu Deus! Sim, pode entrar! Senhor, temos um problema. O sistema de segurança foi desativado. I can see that! We got men entering the building and the office won't lock down. Posso? Claro que pode. It's not working. There's a way to reboot the system. If I can get to the server room, I should be able to get everything back online. Strange. You pay a couple million dollars and you expect to, to push a button to, to be able to, to make all your problems go away. All I got was some useless junk and a bit of false confidence. I'm done, Max. Sir, let us handle this. You stay in your office, lock yourself in. Do not answer the door unless you know it's me. Let's go. I should be able to override the system if I could just get to the server room. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Get down behind the desk now, both of you. <laughs> security guards had been run off, paid off, or bumped off. That left us. It wasn't a fantastically comforting thought. Let's do this together! into the boardroom. Glad to see the security system is keeping the right people out. Ah! Oh shit! Oh, what the years? Such luck. We gotta go. It's through here. Hey. Tá esperando o quê? Atira nele! Nossa, 
Come on, move. You gonna be able to fix this or what? In a few minutes, eh? I should be able to reboot the system, get all the components back online. What about Bronco's office? That's all I care about. He should be able to lock us down, eh? If this works. Whatever you're doing, do it quick. I'm gonna make a sweep of the building and then get back to Rodrigo's. The security system was back online. Things might be a little tougher for our fan club from here on in. Bronco's office overlooked the atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out. Max! Your guy's working on the security system now, sir. It just came on. Okay, good. Then lock yourself down. Stay put. Let us take care of these guys down here. Once they realize they can't get to you, they should back off. Max, try not to completely destroy the place. Let's just concentrate on staying alive. There it went. He was tucked up safe. Now I needed to make it to the lobby to complete my sweep of the building. For what that was worth. They could replace these on Monday morning. Hmm, graduation shots of Rodrigo, Victor, and Marcelo, educated at rich kid finishing schools all over Europe. No wonder they have the common touch. like we'd seen the worst of it. The elevator would take me back up to Rodrigo's office where we could wait the rest of it out. Hmm. 
I didn't know what the hell I was going to find up there, but I sensed it wasn't going to be a stripper bursting out of a cake. Senor Branco! Senor Branco! I can't get through to him. Ever since the security door is triggered, he hasn't made a sound. Rodrigo, it's Max. Open up. Can you hear me? Eu já tentei. Senor Branco, open up! I'm gonna try to get in there from the roof. You find the security guard and get the hell out of here. Yes. I knew yes. there was another way in upstairs for the helipad, the little luxury runaround that kept the rich looking down on the poor literally as well as metaphorically. Rodrigo! 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 he was dead. Clean, one shot, a professional job. I began to look for clues. I couldn't get playback on one of the cameras and it looked like the disc was missing. Someone in this building was trying to keep things low key. But then why had everyone else come driving through the goddamn wall? Fabiana. Even if the man who employed me was dead, his wife was still out there. Maybe she could be saved. Maybe some good would... Ah. Picking the photo from the broken fragments, something caught my eye. Figures. Ah, bien ahora. Blind luck, it meant the blast wasn't fatal. If I'd been out for any longer, the smoke would have gotten me. Perfect. If I wasn't immolated, I was gonna get crushed to death. Look at me. I've been contracted to protect two people. One was being held in some hole, the other was sitting at his desk with a bullet in his head, and the company that had its logo on my paycheck was melting on top of my head. There's no way one bomb could have done all this, unless the place was made of gasoline. This whole joint must have been rigged. The kid hadn't made it. Fuck. I had to make this corpse looting coward pay. Getting his gun was more than just expediency. I was in no state to save his body from the flames. I hadn't saved him from the gunman either. I'm sorry, kid. Fabricast Bronco was falling apart quite literally. He had bullets in his gun. He should have shot himself and ended the pain. This didn't look like a room where Rodrigo closed multi-million dollar deals. It looked like a fiery hellhole.
the heat didn't kill me, the fumes would. So much for a lazy Sunday afternoon. My next trick would be a high wire act with a fiery pit for a safety net. It was nice that no one was shooting at me for a change, but I'd take shot in the head over a slow roast on a spit any day of the goddamn week. Last bunch of guys who tried to kill me might have had an idea. So much for a lazy Sunday afternoon. My next trick would be a high wire act with a fiery pit for a safety net. It was nice that no one was shooting at me for a change, but I'd take shot in the head over a slow roast on a spit any day of the goddamn week. Alô? Alô, Victor. Max? Max, you're, you're, you're alive? Of course I'm alive. We did not know this. We are lost, Max. Our brother was everything to us. I understand. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry about your loss. Both of you. Rodrigo was a good man. I failed him. I, but I was tricked. What happened, Max? I don't know. Some guys from the crush of Prado came into the building downstairs, so while me and the security guard were dealing with them, an assassin must have come in and executed your brother. I, at least that's how I think it happened. No, you killed him, Poha. You killed my brother. What are you talking about? I, I understand you're upset, but please, why the hell would I do that? To get his money, to take his money. How am I getting his money, Marcelo? Please, think. I worked my ass off for your family. I saved your life twice or more. Right now, I'm going to get Fabiana. Where is she? Where is Fabiana, eh? She's in a place called Nova Esperanza. How do you know this, Max? One of the Crotch of Prado told me just before he died. Please, bring our sister-in-law back to us, Max. Our family is being torn apart. So I guess I was finally about to go and experience the other side of Sao Paulo first hand. Creo que eu vou, vou mudar o negócio da Steam.